In recent decades, humanity has experienced remarkable advances in space exploration, generating confidence in our ability to ward off potential threats from outer space. However, this confidence was shaken sharply with the arrival of Oumuamua, our first visitor from beyond our solar system. In a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, popular podcaster Joe Rogan and his guest share declassified images of this mysterious flying object. Now, this leads us to the question whether extraterrestrials could be behind this interstellar messenger, and if so, why NASA is withholding this information from the public. Let's dive deep into the truth behind this enigma that has reached Earth. Since the launch of the first artificial satellite by the Soviet Union on October 4, 1957, mankind's perception of space has changed irreversibly. Sputnik 1, a small spherical satellite weighing approximately 84 kilograms, not only opened the door to future explorations and discoveries, but also opened a new era of scientific breakthrough. Over the years, satellites such as Explorer 1, the Hubble Space Telescope, and the International Space Station, or the ISS, have significantly driven scientific progress, transforming our understanding of the cosmos. After six decades of space exploration, scientists didn't anticipate encountering something as surprising and unknown as a mysterious unidentified flying object in the vicinity of Earth. The unexpected arrival of Obamore generated a great deal of excitement in the scientific community, triggering excessive research to understand its nature. Although scientists initially favored natural explanation, recent fascinating discoveries suggest the possibility that the enigmatic object sighted in 2017 could be a nail in pro. To explore this idea, well-known podcast host Joe Rogan shared declassified images of Oumuamua in collaboration with Israeli-American theoretical physicist Avi Loeb. Together, they poured over evidence that NASA had supposedly kept secret. Before diving into the captivating details, however, it's crucial to understand a few things about Oumuamua's initial discovery. Just nine years after the University of Hawaii administration launched the impressive Pan-STARRS-1 telescope, an extraordinary feat was accomplished. On a crisp October night in 2017, astronomer Rob Wirick, using the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope, observed a stunning celestial event. Initially mistaken for a conventional comet or asteroid, closer analysis revealed the surprising truth the detection of an interstellar object in our cosmic neighborhood. This cosmic traveler, with its tilted orbit and astonishing speed, led scientists to conclude that it originated beyond our solar system. Properly designate this mysterious object, scientists opted for the name Obamwa, which means a messenger that arrived first from far away. As astronomers studied this cosmic messenger, shocking data emerged. Obamwa showed irregular fluctuations in brightness that defied simple explanation, suggesting an elongated shape 5 to 10 times longer than its width. Astronomers used the light curve as a tool to discern Obamwa's shape, revealing that it appeared brightest when viewed from its widest side, indicating dimensions approximately 377 feet long, 364 feet wide, and 62 feet thick. Its albedo, or sunlight reflection, was 0.1, a common feature of cometary nuclei. Oumuamua's peculiar elongated shape, similar to that of a cigar, generated numerous questions and various theories. One theory suggested that tidal forces from a close approach to a star might be responsible for the unusual shape of Oumuamua. However, this explanation fails to account for the precise dimensions of this cosmic oddity. Attention that turned to asteroid 25143 Itokawa, discovered by the Japanese space probe Hayabusa in 2005. Despite some similarities, Obamoa remained unique, especially lacking the typical cometary tail observed in objects in our solar system. Beyond its shape, Obamoa's journey through our solar system added another mysterious element. In contrast to expectations, it ventured exceptionally close to the sun before continuing its journey below the planetary plane at an astonishing speed 
of approximately 196,000 miles per hour, exceeding any human-created object speed. This rapid travel led to a hypothesis presented in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, suggesting that Oumuamua may have come from a binary star system. Astronomer Alan Jackson, lead author, proposed that more than 95% of rocket interstellar objects, such as Oumuamua, could originate in binary systems, where the gravitational interaction between two stars could propel them. In the realm of intriguing and controversial speculations, the idea arises that Oumuamua could be a hydrogen iceberg. This theory is based on the peculiarities observed in Oumuamua. The hypothesis raises the possibility that Oumuamua is wrapped in a thin molecular layer of hydrogen, the lightest and most abundant element in the universe. This presumed hydrogen ice could conceal a denser core, possibly composed of metal or rock. The bold suggestion is that, as Zobomoa travels through space, the gradual sublimation of this layer of hydrogen could explain the observed unexpected accelerations and spins. In a fascinating recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, the celebrity podcaster welcomed as a guest Abby Loeb, who shared previously undisclosed information about Obamoa, shedding light on surprising developments within the scientific community. Abby Loeb presented a compelling argument about the strange space object called Obamoa, highlighting that it was the first object to visit our neighborhood in the solar system, moving at such a high speed that it could not be bound to the sun. This unique feature piqued his curiosity and formed the basis of his research. Although Oumuamua was thought to be a comet, the obvious lack of a cometary tailor raised questions about its true nature. Loeb pointed out another intriguing aspect. The object showed additional momentum moving away from the sun, a phenomenon typically caused by the evaporation of ice in comets. However, since Oumuamua lacked a cometary tail, the source of this momentum remained an enigma. Loeb's inquisitive mind led him to explore explanations beyond the conventional categories of comets or asteroids. Loeb delved into the fascinating observation that Oumuamua's brightness fluctuated by a factor of 10 or more, comparing it to an extremely thin piece of paper that changes its projected area in sunlight. This peculiar behavior suggested that Oumuamua had an extreme geometry probably a flat shape. By analyzing the light reflected during its rotation, Loeb concluded that Oumuamua was a flat object about the size of a soccer field. Subsequent investigations with space telescopes revealed no traces of dust or gas behind Oumuamua. Loeb, along with his postdoctoral researcher Jumuel Bialy, explored the intriguing idea that the object's extra momentum might be due to sunlight reflecting off its surface. This theory suggested that Oumuamua might be extremely thin, similar to a candle, and Loeb drew parallels to the emerging technology of light sails in space exploration. Loeb shared his surprise at the reaction of his colleague when he presented the possibility that Oumuamua might have an artificial origin. During a seminar at Harvard, a colleague expressed frustration, saying, This object is actually really strange. I wish it had never existed. This resistance puzzled Loeb, who stressed the importance of embracing the unknown and being willing to reconsider our current understanding of reality. To support his perspective, Loeb referenced historical examples of resistance to new ideas, such as Galileo Galilei's resistance to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. He also mentioned the tragic story of Giordano Bruno, who was burned at the stake for suggesting the existence of other stars similar to the Sun with planets that could harbor life. Loeb stressed that research into the possible technological nature of objects such as Oumuamua and extraterrestrial intelligence faces obstacles due to widespread doubt and derision, which limit exploration in this area. He emphasized the importance of maintaining a non-biased perspective and applying the scientific method in a systematic manner, regardless of the phenomenon being examined. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments box. If you liked the video, hit the like button and share it so we can reach more people. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more content like this.